your story at the library today. Imagine your story at the library today. Welcome to Unique Unicorns, part of the High Plains Library District 2020 Summer Reading Adventure. My name is Catherine, and today we're going to explore the wonderful world of these unique, one-of-a-kind mythical creatures. We'll learn some fun facts about unicorns by playing a game of true or false. We'll create a one-of-a-kind unicorn out of mixed media. And you'll also have a chance to create a unicorn ring toss. It's going to be magical. Unicorns have been featured in legends and stories from long ago and in many modern day chapter books, movies, graphic novels, and lots and lots of picture books. See the link below for a list of some unicorn items in our collection. True or false? The word unicorn comes from the Latin word unicornis, which means one horn. True, because in Latin, uni means one and cornus means horn. And all unicorns have one thing in common, the fact that they all have one horn. True or false, a narwhal is a unicorn that swims. False. While it's sometimes called a sea unicorn, a narwhal doesn't have a horn. It's actually a tooth that's grown into a long spiraled tusk. We'll play some more true or false as we go along, but for now, let's gather up some art supplies and make a majestic, magical, sparkly mixed media unicorn. For this project, you'll need one sheet of colored construction paper, the unicorn template, please see the link below to print it out, some newspaper, watercolor paints and a paintbrush, some water, scissors, white liquid glue, a glue stick, some yarn, a dark colored marker, a large googly eye if you have one handy, some glitter, and any colorful scraps of paper or additional materials you'd like to use. Once you've gathered your supplies, place the unicorn parts template over a sheet of newspaper. Cut out one semicircle shape and three triangle shapes so that you are left with three newspaper triangles and one newspaper semicircle. Next, you'll cut out seven to ten thin rectangular strips of newspaper about two to three inches long. At this point, you should have three newspaper triangles of varying sizes and some rectangular strips of newspaper. Orient your construction paper vertically, then using your glue stick, glue the largest triangle marked number two on the template to the bottom left corner of the construction paper. Then you'll glue the next largest triangle marked number three on the template to the tip of the large triangle with the base of the smaller triangle aligned to the left side of the larger triangle. It should look like this. Next, glue the semicircle to the bottom of the smaller triangle that you had just glued down so that you have what looks like the snout of a unicorn. Put your partially created unicorn aside, then gather the smallest newspaper triangle, the rectangular strips of newspaper, your small cup of water, paintbrush, watercolors, and a piece of paper towel. Paint a strip of rectangular paper the color of your choice, then use that same color of paint to paint a stripe or two on the triangle. This triangle will eventually become your unicorn's horn. Next, you'll choose another color and repeat until all of your strips of rectangular paper and your unicorn horn are brightly colored. Set them aside to dry. With a marker, draw a round unicorn eye and eyelashes onto your unicorn's face. If you have an extra googly eye at home, Use your white liquid glue and give your unicorn a googly eye. Set it aside for the glue to dry. Then you'll gather your scraps of colored paper and cut them into strips two to three inches long. 
You'll do the same with your yarn until you have at least four to five strips of paper and four to five pieces of yarn. Next, take your strips of paper and painted strips of newspaper and fold them accordion style back and forth over themselves. You should now have a small pile of yarn, accordion style folded pieces of newspaper and colorful paper. These will become your unicorn's mane. Using your glue stick, glue your unicorn's horn to its head. Then place white liquid glue dots along the edge of the unicorn's head. Start gluing some of the yarn and newspaper strips and colorful paper strips by alternating them in random order as you go. As they're drying, use your marker to give the unicorn a nose. We made a heart-shaped nose. And then give the unicorn a smile. Last but not least, and if it's okay with your adults, it's time to add glitter to make your unicorn really sparkle. Place a strip of liquid glue by the mane of the unicorn. We painted a strip of glue because our glue kept coming out too fast. You may also want to put some glue around the edge of the unicorn's horn and even on its nose. Before you get out the glitter and for easy glitter cleanup, place your unicorn on top of a piece of newspaper. Then get out your glitter and sprinkle it wherever you place the glue. Use as much glitter as you like. Unicorns love to sparkle. Then you'll lift up your unicorn and gently tap any excess glitter onto the newspaper for easy cleanup. Wow, you've created a magical, majestic, sparkly unicorn with a gloriously colorful mane. Put it someplace for everyone to see. True or false? In ancient Greece, unicorns were described as having a red, black, and white horn. True. About 2,500 years ago in ancient Greece, a doctor by the name of Tizius wrote about a wondrous one-horned creature from India. And this creature had a white body, a dark red or purplish head, blue eyes, and a red, black, and white horn. It probably looked a little something like this. True or false? Unicorns live at the beach and eat seaweed. False. Stories and legends often show unicorns living in forests, often near a pond or a stream where they eat grass and moss. True or false? Long ago, people thought unicorn horns were medicine. True. Hundreds of years ago, in medieval times, people believed that unicorn horns heal diseases and that they also protected you against poison. Now, let's make a unicorn ring toss game. This is a terrific game that you can use indoors or out, and you can play it by yourself or with a friend. To make a unicorn ring toss, you'll need a paper plate, a few markers, white liquid glue, glue stick, some scissors, a pencil, a stapler, and some tape, colorful pieces of paper, glitter, sequins, stickers, really anything to make your ring toss look fancy, a 12 by 12 piece of thicker cardstock or scrapbook paper, smaller size is okay as well, something large and round to trace, this should almost be the size of the piece of paper. We use the cardboard that came from under a frozen pizza. For the rings, you'll need two pipe cleaners per ring, or two glow sticks with two connectors per ring. Step-by-step -step directions are included in the link below. First, make an outline of a circle onto the paper by tracing the round item you've selected. Remember, your circle should almost be as large as the page. Next, cut out the trace circle, fold the circle in half, crease it, and then open it back up. Fold it in half again the other way, and crease it once more. When you open it back up, you'll have four even triangular sections. Use some scissors to cut out one of the triangles. 
so that it looks like this. Now you're ready to turn this into a cone. Take one edge of the circle and gently fold it into itself, continuously turning it counterclockwise until you have a cone shape. To secure the cone, take one or two pieces of tape onto the cone so that the cone won't unfurl. We used two pieces of tape for this cone. If you'd like, add another piece of tape on the inside if you need to. If you don't want to make a cone but have a spare paper party hat laying around, that also makes a great cone. Use your scissors to cut six evenly spaced lines into the bottom of the cone. Each line should be about one and a half centimeters high. You'll fold the flaps outward until your cone looks like this. Then you'll tape it down to the paper plate. Now you have a unicorn horn for the center of your ring toss. Use markers to write three evenly spaced numbers onto the paper plate. These will be your ring toss values. We used 10, 20, and 30, but you can use whichever numbers you'd like. Next, decorate your unicorn ring toss with whatever materials you gathered. We use stickers, sequins, markers, some paper circles, and glitter. Just make sure the numbers stay visible if you'd like to keep score. Put it aside to dry while you make your rings. You can make your rings with pipe cleaners, with glow sticks, or even cut out the center of a paper plate. Today we'll show you how to make a pipe cleaner ring and a glow stick ring. For a pipe cleaner ring, you'll need two pipe cleaners. Twist the ends of the two pipe cleaners together, then bring the other two ends together until it makes a circular shape. Twist the other two ends together, and then you have a ring. For a glow stick ring, you'll need two glow sticks and two connectors. Put a connector at the end of each glow stick. Join the glow sticks together into one big long line so that the connectors are placed at the end and in the middle. Bring the ends together and connect them so you have a circle. Now you have a glow stick ring for ring toss. When you're ready to play, simply toss your ring onto the unicorn's horn. If you'd like to keep score, like Unicorn Teddy likes to keep score, place the ring toss one giant step away for 10 points, move it two giant steps away with the 20 point value facing you for 20 points, then move it three steps away with the 30 point value facing you for 30 points. Unicorn Teddy just scored some points. We hope you had a fun time today making a mixed media unicorn, a unicorn ring toss, and that you learn some fun facts about unicorns by playing true or false. Again, we have lots and lots of books and movies at High Plains Library District that feature unicorns, including some electronic resources that you can download using Hoopla or Overdrive. Please click on the link below for a sample list of some of our unique unicorn items so that you can check them out from the library. Thanks for joining us today for Unique Unicorns as part of High Plains Library District's 2020 Summer Reading Adventure. We hope you continue to imagine your story and may it be as magical as these unique, one-of-a-kind creatures. Bye!